hi guys welcome to another session of our tutorial and today i'll be taking us on how to plot surveys before we begin we'd have to set up our units as usual and for us to do that we go to format and in the drop down we see unit here and then we set our unit accordingly decimal precision this degree minutes seconds because we're working with surveys and this let us also not forget to tick our clockwise box here very necessary because i'm working in meters i select the meter scale of measurement then direction we should ensure that our direction is always set to north and okay that is it for setting up of units so we commence to plotting of our surveys by the right side of my screen is the survey which i'm going to plot for us today and before i start i click on polyline next i input my nothing and eastern my nothing and eastern is being indicated for me down here on some on some survey plans the nothing and the eastern sometimes aren't usually indicated but when that happens what we have to do after setting up our units is click on polyline and plot our survey as it is the only difference is that our survey won't be geo reference but then i've got my nothing and my easting here so i go ahead and geo reference my survey i click on polyline again <clears throat> then i start off by using my Eastern first, and my Eastern here is 540298.172. Then the next thing I input is comma to lock in the Eastern, and it's been locked. Next, I input my Northern, which is 724433.204, and enter. It has taken me to the exact point. And this is where I'm going to start my survey. My survey is being due reference now. So I'm going to start from this area right here. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see. It. I'm going to start from this area right here. So, and I will start off by imputing the length and then the angle. And then I do this at to get your at symbol. You just hold the shift key and the number two key on the keyboard. And then it gives you the art symbol. After the art, I impute my length, which is 24.86 meters. Then the next thing is to impute my angle sign, which is also known as less than. And after being after imputing the angle sign, I go for that to impute my angle, which is 27 degree and seven minutes. Enter. As you can see this line this line here has been drawn here so we repeat the steps for the next line by entering the at then our length which is 14.04 meters and the next the angle sign then with the angle 104 degree 55 minutes enter then I've gotten this other line here so i go on to the next line still repeating the same steps as i used before and i impute at the next my length which is 16.87 angle sign 115 degree 39 minutes enter then the next line at 22.31 meters my angle sign then 21 218 degree 08 minutes then I do the same for the other line at 2 sorry 
five four meters. Then my angle sign two seven one degree fifty seven minutes. Enter. Then the next line, this should be the one to close it up at fourteen point zero eight angle sign two nine four degree and forty minutes. So there was a hitch there. Goes on. So let me put that again. Two nine four degree forty minutes. And then <clears throat> my survey has been closed. If after plotting your survey and it doesn't get to close like this, it means that there was a mistake from the beginning, either from unit setup or there was a little error during your input of the digits. So what you can do is to recheck it again and probably have to restart again. So what I what I'll do next is what I'll do next is to confirm if the area of my plotted survey corresponds to the area on the survey plan here on paper. So to do that, I right click <coughs> then on paper here my area here shows 713.908 square meters. So I would have to confirm if what I plotted is correct to know if I'm on the right track. So to do that, I'll need to confirm the area. So I select the drawing, I right click, and then come down here to properties, then look for area below. Oh, here, and the area is. 713.99 it's quite very close no much difference because the area on paper here shows to be 713.908 square meters so the difference is very minute if we had plotted a survey and then we had a very large difference of probably 800 square meters or even 790 square meters then we would have to we check our drawing to make sure that we eliminate whatsoever errors causing that. So that's it guys on plotting a survey. Hope you enjoyed the lecture. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to drop them below in our comment section. Thank you and also stay posted for subsequent videos that will also come up regarding the plotting of surveys and also other methods of plotting of surveys all right guys don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel too bye